Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've noticed, it's been about a year since I've done a very detailed step-by-step -step video on how I style my curly wavy hair, um, where I actually talk, don't just show videos of me doing things. So this was long overdue. I reached my one year curly anniversary like last week, one, two weeks ago. So I thought that it was time for a new video. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So I just got out of the shower and I put my hair in a uh, t-shirt. Didn't do anything to it other than put it in the t-shirt just so it would still be wet. I actually wash, um, usually style my hair on soaking wet hair, um, but I didn't really want to bring the phone into the shower. So <laughs> I figured I would just go ahead and wash it and get the uh, shampoo conditioner part over with and then I would style it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bowl and this bowl is completely full of water and I'm just going to dump my head in it to get my hair completely soaking wet again. Um, I actually do this a lot if I uh, have already washed my hair the night before and you know didn't want to style it that night but still want to look really good the next day. So give me just a second and I'm going to dump my head. Okay, so my hair is soaking wet for the most part and I am going to put in um, my curl cream next. So, you know, no matter what products you use, you can use whatever you like. Uh, I like to use either a leave-in in a gel or a curl cream in a gel. Those are my two favorites. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, I have been using the uh, Curlsmith InStyle sh Shower Fixer, which is a Stronghold gel, and the Hold Me Softly Style Balm, which is a um, well, very light curl cream. So I kind of use it like a leave-in conditioner. All right, and I feel like I'm still a little dry back here, so I'm just gonna dump the rest of the water. Okay, there we go, now I'm completely wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of my Style Balm. Like I said, any cold cream or leave-in is fine. I get somewhat of a decent amount. When I first started wearing my hair curly, um, I avoided using too much moisturizing products because I was scared of it weighing my hair down. But I've learned that my hair is actually really dry and coarse. And so whenever, like the more moisturizing products I use, the better like shine I get. I just try to avoid putting it on my roots. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just raking it through, just meaning I'm taking my fingers, running it through. My hair tangles really easily. So you can hear me getting the tangles out right now. Whenever I do this in the shower, I usually don't have as many tangles because I do it straight after rinsing out my conditioner. I'll even leave a little bit of the conditioner in my hair so it's not as tangly. It actually feels really dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more. Um, but if you have wavy hair and not curly hair, you really can't wet your hair down too fast. So you just gotta figure out the right amount that works for you. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. goal is that you want your hair to be plenty wet and moisturized. You want it to feel like seaweed and whenever you scrunch it, it makes this noise. That's a good noise to know that you're getting your hair really hydrated. Okay, so now that that's distributed, I'm going to do what we call squish to condition. It's where you take extra water, squish it back into your hair. It just kind of helps distribute um, product, uh, even conditioner uh, better. So. I'm just going to dump my hands in the bowl, get some water in it, and come back up and add the water. Okay, and you can already see the curls, like the waves starting to form. Now, you can go straight to adding gel at this point if you don't like to use a brush. But I like to use a brush one more time after I put in my uh, like moisturizing agent just to help kind of make smoother clumps. Um, I have used three different brushes in the past. I have used the Denim brush, which is really good for like smaller, smaller curl clumps. I use the wet brush. This is my Princess Jasmine wet brush that I often use for um, detangling. It's my favorite whenever I have really tangly hair. But today I'm going to use my, um, my Be Hairful brush. I actually haven't used this one in a video yet, and I'm really excited about it. Um, this one is best known for its ability to distribute products. So because I put this curl cream in my hair, I want to distribute it really well, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to show you the specific way that I brush my hair. I'm going to brush it all forward, but then I'm also going to kind of brush the back up just so that it um, isn't stuck to my scalp going forward. So that whenever I turn my hair right side up, 
my hair is not like sticking straight up. And you just want to start from the ends and work your way up. Okay, so all of my hair is brushed forward and off my scalp. I'm actually going to go ahead and add just a little bit of water because I just really love it soaking wet when I style. So now I'm ready for the gel. Uh, this is the Curl Smith In Shower Style Fixer. It's a uh, 10 out of 10 hold gel. I really love harder holding gels because I feel like my curls just tend to hold better with them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt some in my hand about that much. Add some water to my other hand and mix the two together. Then I'm going to lean my head forward and just kind of glaze it over. So by glazing, I might imagine like you're frosting a cake, just smoothing it over. And then praying hands, that's whenever you actually bring your hands together like you're in prayer. Um, I typically will do glazing to just do that. And then I'm just going to start to scrunch. And you want to hear that noise. And I just keep adding water as I go. So now I'm going to flip my head over to the side. So the biggest goal is we want to try to get the hair, you know, to look good on the back of your head. So I'm just going to turn it up, shake it. And you see how it's kind of sticking, sticking up right here. Guess how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to add more water. <laughs> If you need to kind of gently loosen it, that's fine. You're going to add more water anyway, so it's going to kind of help bring those uh, curls back. Okay, so now I'm going to flip my hair the other way. This is already laying a little bit better just because I already kind of fixed it. Um, but it definitely needs some more water just because you can see those curls are a little wonky. And I'll even bring my head back and add a little bit more. Okay, now I'm even going to add just a little bit more gel because I have added so much water. Just a little bit. Okay. And now one other step that I've added in. Um, typically, whenever I go from side to side, whenever I bring my head right side up, this part can look a little wonky. So what I like to do is go ahead and fix it uh, while I still have the water near me. So I turn my head upside down, or just up and shake it. And then bring it forward. So you can see I'm a little wonky right here. So I'll go ahead and um, kind of set my part, make sure my part is where I want it. I don't disrupt it too much. Then I go back and just add more water and it will kind of help form more naturally. And then it's a little wonky right here, so I'll add some more water there. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little more. Right If on these last couple of scrunches, you want to, you know, hold and squeeze just a little longer to get a little bit more water out, that's fine. I actually like to leave the water in for a little longer just to help the hair absorb the product. So what I'm going to do next is what I call wet plopping. So what that means, you take your hair while it's still very wet, you haven't really removed much water, and you put it in a shower cap. I typically will do this whenever I get out of the shower, uh, while I get dressed, um, sometimes put on my makeup. I try not to do it for more than five or ten minutes because I don't want the hair to dry in like a really wonky position. So this is a like double-sided um, shower cap. This is the side I want my hair in. So I'm just going to turn it inside out. All right, now I'm going to turn my head upside down the way it was in the beginning and put it in. Okay. 
just very, very gently put it in. Okay, so at this point, I am going to go and put on what I'm actually going to wear today. I try to go ahead and have what I'm wearing on before I let my hair start to dry, just because it can get really wonky if I uh, change clothes. Okay, so I will be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm dressed, uh, my makeup's already done, uh, my hair has just been wet plopping, meaning uh, all the moisture should still be in there because it's all like it hasn't been absorbed. So you have two options at this point. You can either take it down and what we do, what we call micro plop, just using a t-shirt to remove a little bit more of the water. Or if it's still really wet, you are busy, you have kids and you don't have time to style it yet, you can do what we call um, dry plopping. So you put it in a t-shirt, uh, wrap it up around your head like this, leave it for another 20 minutes or so, and then come back and style it. I'll link uh, below, I've got a video on what dry plopping looks like. And if you have any questions about that, let me know. So I'm going to take my hair down and I'm going to micro plop, meaning I use this t-shirt to scrunch out the excess water. When I first started micro plopping, I would get in there and just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Um, when I would do that, I feel like it really broke up a lot of my curl clumps. So I learned the importance of, you know, getting bigger chunks of hair, taking my time, really just squeezing it, kind of pulsing my hands and, uh, not doing like like doing quality over quantity if that makes sense and that way my clumps stay more intact so I'll show you and you just want to be very gentle so you see my hair it's been sitting it's been sitting in the shower cap for probably like 10 minutes or so now so you can do this with a t-shirt or with a microfiber towel uh, I get better results with a t-shirt so I'm just going to take it in my hands and bring it up close to my scalp and listen to me scrunch. And I'm just, I'm still scrunching, but I'm only bringing it up to my head one time as opposed to coming up and down and up and down and then move to another section. Okay. And I flip my head just like I did before. So I've got most of the water out of it, most of the extra water. I'm just gonna try to find my natural part. Okay, and see, because I did that earlier and added the water back, it's not nearly as wonky right here. Okay. So the next thing I do, you can either uh, put clips in it and go air dry. Um, I've learned if I diffuse it for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, it'll help set the cast a little bit more and then I'll air dry it. So, uh, a couple options for hair for drying as well <laughs> that you can never uh, run out of options or things to try with curly hair because there's just so many things. So I am going to hover diffuse. I'll show you two different ways of diffusing. I'll show you hover diffusing and then um, hammock diffusing. So hammock diffusing is something that uh, Wavy Curly Alley came up with. Uh, she's on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, I've gotten a lot of tips from her. Uh, the hammock diffusing seems to work really well uh, for my curls too. Uh, so hover diffusing is where you just hover the diffuser <laughs> away from your hair until the cast starts to set. So literally like this. first because they are the most wet and they take the longest to dry. You don't want to dry out your ends by spending too much time on them. Okay, so that's how I hover diffuse. Um, I will show you pixie, I'm um, sorry, hammock diffusing. Okay, so I'm going to show you hammock diffusing. Uh, I was not planning to do this, so I'm still wearing shorts because I'm not ready to leave the house and put on real pants yet. So <laughs> I'm sure most of you can relate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, bend my head over, and I'm going to put my hair in the t-shirt. And while it's in the t-shirt, I'm going to stand in front of the diffuser and just move my head back and forth and then slowly release the curls. And what it does is my curls are cupped and, um, while I'm drying and so it doesn't have all the gravity um, pulling the curls out. So I'm gonna do this for a minute, let y'all watch, and then I will uh, be back. So 
I don't like to diffuse my hair to 100% dry. Well, I do, I like the way it looks, but I do not have the patience for it. So at this point, you know, it's not dripping wet. Uh, the cast, meaning kind of just a little crunchy gel protective layer around the curls has started to uh, take shape. So what I do at this point is I root clip and then I will just let it air dry for a little while, a couple hours if I have the time. So the way that I used to do this, I used to just like lift up my hair, put the clip in there, go for it, whatever. That worked okay, but I felt like it did. Um, I would get hair snagged in there. Uh, sometimes I would mess up curl clumps trying to do it. So I have found a new way to do it, which I'm gonna show you. And it's a little awkward <laughs> as far as the video camera, so bear with me. Uh, and I will show you. All right, so I'm gonna bend over. This is really hard to do with a phone and not with a mirror. So I'm looking for these natural breaks in my clump right here. All right, so right there. Man, the things that I do for my hair. And to show you guys. Okay, sometimes I do one on this side. I don't always, I don't really see a great, uh, break in the clumps. There's one that's right there. That might be okay. Okay, so these are in. I think I really need one more right there. I'm gonna pick up the one I dropped on the floor. Kudos to you if you're still watching at this point. Okay, so then I'm just going to roll my head back up and voila. Okay, so now uh, you see I've got my hair is up off of my scalp. I'm hoping that that will give me a little bit more volume as it dries. Uh, before you leave it alone to let it dry, just make sure you don't have any like wonky pieces that are laying funny. So the last thing that I do, <laughs> one more step, is I use hairspray. This is the um, Pantene air spray. It's alcohol-free um, versions. Uh, Two and four are both Curly Girl approved, but my Target only has three. So <laughs> it is alcohol free, but it's not 100% Curly Girl approved, but I like it so much that I really uh, needed it and didn't want to take the time to look for the two or four. So at this point, uh, I use hairspray. The reason why is because when it starts to dry, I just want my clumps to still be sealed and protected uh, just to give them a little bit more shine and definition. So I'm just gonna spray all over. It actually helps with dry time too. I'm gonna flip it over and do it on the back side as well. Okay. All right, the only other thing, <laughs> I said I was done. The only other thing I do sometimes, uh, if I'm around the house trying to do things, sometimes this will fall in my face and it'll get on my nerves. So I'll just take like a little claw clip and clip the back. Totally don't have to do that. Just something to make my hair not get on my nerves as much. So I am going to let this air dry probably for the next one to two hours and then I will come back and show you how I finish it up. Okay, so I've been air drying for the last hour or so and I'm just going to diffuse a little bit more to help, uh, help it finish drying because I am about to head out the door. So um, I'm gonna leave my clips in for now what I'm going to do now is what I call pixie diffusing. I, I don't call it that. That's what it's called. Um, where you take your hair, you put it in the diffuser, bring it up to your head, and then turn it on. So, so you'll do that with each section for, you know, 10 seconds or so. Turn the hair dryer off and then release the hair. So I go back and forth all over my hair doing that until it's a little bit more dry. You can also go upside down, do it upside down. So I'm gonna, I'll speed this up, but you can just watch me and do it. I usually do this on medium, let's see, medium heat and low speed. So when I hover diffuse and when I pixie diffuse, I do high heat and high speed because the hair dryer is kind of far away from my hair. But if you're to do high heat or high speed, whenever you pixie diffuse, um, I get a little nervous about causing frizz. So yeah.
Okay, so you can tell it's starting to get a little bit more dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these clips just so I can get a little closer to my roots. Then I'm gonna keep drying. I'm probably about, I don't know, 70% dry at this point. Okay, so now whenever I bring the bowl on my diffuser up, I'm gonna bring it a lot closer to the roots. As you can see, to get more volume, I am taking the diffuser, putting it down, and then pushing it forward, and it'll get some more air in there under the roots. Okay, so I am done diffusing. I would say that my hair is probably still like, I don't know, 90% dry. I'm not 100% yet, but I am about to uh, head out the door. I'm going to church this morning. Um, I'm also going to be outside because we're meeting outside because of COVID. So um, I'm not going to scrunch out the crunch yet. And what scrunch out the crunch means, like if you have any pieces, like for example, this one, you know, it's just a little like crunchy looking because it still has some gel in it. Um, once your hair is 100% dry, you can go in and just kind of scrunch, loosen up, you know, loosen up the, the uh, cast a little bit more. Um, I might do that later today, but on a day where the weather's going to be bad, I would rather would leave it with a little bit of crunch just so uh, the frizz and the humidity don't get it too much. And also because I am going to be outside, I am going to uh, touch it off. Touch it off? I'm going to, uh, what, what word am I trying to say? Top it off. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of hairspray as well just to keep it nice and sealed. Okay. Okay. And one other thing I will do if I'm not really scrunching it out yet, but I am still going out in public, uh, I don't really love this like flat look right here. So I will uh, use dry shampoo sometimes to help just kind of get it off my scalp or I'll use a pick. So I can go ahead and do the pick without messing up my curls too much. So I just kind of tuck it and lift it. That way I'm not really breaking up any of the clumps, but I am giving my hair a little bit of volume and getting it up off of my scalp. And the other thing you can do is to fluff your roots. So what you do is you take your hands, you go in, and then you fluff really good and then you pull your hands back out. So you wanna make sure your fingers go in and out in the same place. Um, so if you just like tussle them all around, it'll really mess your clumps up. Okay, and I'm not gonna do dry shampoo today, but you could always add some dry shampoo right here. Okay, so this is a uh, pretty in-depth in, uh, in wash day tutorial. This is what I do most of my wash days. Uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, leave them in the comments below. And if you don't already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, let me know if there's any other content you would like to see that you think would be helpful. And then let me just show you the back real quick. Okay, all right, there we go.